I will install this thermostat in this refrigerator whose old thermostat has gone bad. The thermostat is present beneath the knob of this refrigerator. The thermostat senses the temperature of the fridge cabinet and turns the compressor on and off so that the cooling in the fridge would not be less or more. The thermostat in this refrigerator is mounted on the right side of the refrigerator. Some refrigerator's thermostats are mounted on the top and vary model by model. So check where the thermostat is installed in your refrigerator. This means that the thermostat's capillary tube passes inside the refrigerator body and is then connected to the evaporator. Some companies install ducts where the thermostat capillary tube and the wires pass by. The same is for the top-mounted thermostats, where the wires and the capillary pass inside the refrigerator body. Now I will remove the knob from the thermostat by pulling it. If it's hard to pull, use a flat screwdriver and push it gradually from the back side. And then it will come out easily. The screw and a nut are installed to hold the thermostat. This is its adjustment bolt. Now, a plier can be used to remove and loosen the nut, but I am using 14 number key to detach the hexagonal nut. It has been free now. Now I am unscrewing the screw. Now I will pull the plastic box of the thermostat towards me, which will be separated from the fridge body. The box was installed and locked inside the hole of the fridge body with the help of these plastic hooks. The position of holes can vary in different refrigerators thermostat boxes. Next, I am going to unscrew all the screws of the evaporator. Now here, you will have to work carefully, as if you are experienced, then that's good, but if not, then note what I will tell you. These pipes are installed on the top of the evaporator. You must bend the evaporator carefully and slowly to prevent the pipes from breaking. And after this, unscrew these two screws over here. The capillary tube is installed inside the plastic attached to the evaporator. I will remove the plastic. Now let me show you how the thermostat capillary tube has come out from inside the fridge body. This is the capillary tube that I am shaking with my hands, and I will remove it from here. Before uninstalling the thermostat, check its wiring connections. Let me give you its information as well. On the left side, C is written, L is written on the right side, and H is written on the top. And also, let me tell you what connections are installed with the thermostat. The H has the main supply, which is a single brown wire. The gray wire is for the heater, and the red wire is for the compressor output. When the compressor starts, the thermostat starts the compressor through this wire. The L terminal has one wire for the lamp, and the other is for the heater. The heater wires line and neutral are connected to the thermostat. Now I will disconnect all the wires of the thermostat. Now I will carefully remove the capillary tube from the refrigerator with a technique. I can cut the extra capillary tube and make the thermostat out, but for removing the thermostat with a complete capillary tube, straighten the capillary tube, then, it will be easier to remove the thermostat. Now push the thermostat to remove the capillary tube from the refrigerator body. If this capillary tube gets crooked, it will come with force from inside the refrigerator body. You have to straighten it while pulling the thermostat. Now the thermostat is out with the capillary tube. I will remove the rubber cover installed on the top of the capillary tube. So, I have removed this thermostat from the refrigerator. It has a long capillary tube, as you saw, so I will need the same as this one. This thermostat is the same as the old one, but its capillary tube is too short. So I will not use this one. I will install this thermostat in the refrigerator as it has a long capillary. Let me show you the numbers on this thermostat. On the right side, 3 is written, and on the center is 6. The left has 4 written on the thermostat. The capillary tube of the thermostat has refrigerant inside it to sense the cooling and control it accordingly to turn on and off the compressor. The companies don't tell what formula they are using inside the capillary tube. It could be different for various companies. The old thermostat has this pipe fitted on the capillary tube. This is a protective cover to protect the thermostat. 
as if any wire accidentally touches the capillary to protect it from electrocution. Now I will straighten the capillary. Then insert it inside the capillary. I tried to insert the pipe inside the capillary, but it is getting difficult to do so. That is why I will use mustard oil, I am rubbing oil on the capillary tube. And now, put the sleeve inside the capillary tube again. Now it is almost done, but still a little is left. Now as it has passed from the tip of the capillary tube, now it is a lot easier to pull it. Move the protective cover to the end of the thermostat. Now I am inserting the new one inside the refrigerator. Now slowly push it inside the hole. And you can see the capillary tube has come out from the other side of the hole. Now I will pull it, and this is how it has been completed. I have installed the capillary tube of the thermostat properly. Let me show you. It starts from here, and I have attached it with the holder. I have taken it from the corner because a heater is installed here. The capillary tube will heat up quickly when this heater is on. This will make a difference in the on-off time of the compressor. And this is the reason for passing it through the corner of the evaporator. Now I will take the evaporator plate back to its original position. Hold it from the top, then gradually move it downward. Now I have made it to its original position. I have screwed the evaporator, but the capillary tube of the thermostat is visible. I will press it inside the evaporator. It should be attached to the evaporator. The drain hole of the refrigerator is also full of dirt. Let's remove this dirt to make the water flow easily. So always check that drain hole to prevent water from leaking inside your refrigerator when the evaporator defrosts. As I told you earlier in this video, I have fit all the wiring connections with the thermostat. Now I will fit the cover with the thermostat and tighten its nut. And organize the wires inside the box as the box has a lot of empty space. Now tighten the nut with a spanner. It has tightened now. In the end, fit the knob in the thermostat. And this is how you can change a thermostat. Click on the left or right thumbnail on the screen to watch our next videos. And subscribe. It is free. Thank you.